Welcome to part two of my Advent Yarn Adventure. I'm exploring the thread from a De Vere Yarns Advent Calendar and testing each day's thread by creating a corset flossing sampler. If you haven't seen part one, I'll put the link above and in the description box below. Yes, part one of this video came out in December 2020, and I had meant to get the rest of it out sooner, but here we are. Many thanks to Lena Piprek for sending me the blank flossing sampler, as well as her wonderful video about flossing. In our story so far, we have seen days one to eight. There was a beautiful selection of cotton, wool and silk thread, and I tried my first eight flossing attempts. Now let's continue. Day nine. Silk, size 12. Midnight. Another very thin one. As we found with the size 12 and size 6 previously, they're really very thin. And I'm just not liking the look of them for these where you have to fill in space. I suppose in these we do have more of a flare, but it's still sort of going from solid to spread. And I think you need a thicker yarn for that. However, I thought for a bit of variation, seeing we've already got ridiculously thick, a good size, we could go in with quite thin using a combination of today's blue size 12 as well as the size 6 in purple and 12 in red and do a bit of a blue purple red gradient as per this that is marking in the these ones And then at the bottom, we're marking these ones. And then it's over one and up to there. This is what it looks like, coming up nice and close, this is it, closer up, this is the back, so you can see there's really not very much on the back in this case.
Day 10. <gasps> Ooh, this looks pretty. Oh, yes. 72. Pure silk. And a gorgeous red. So, with today's thick silk, the plan is to do the simple V. It's very slightly to the left. Oh, don't you fall out. Okay, we're going into that one as marked. Right, and so you can see the end is those three little dots. And on the front is this nice little V. Day 11. Ooh, more silk! There's so much silk coming out. The second half's just going to be all wool and cotton. <laughs> Arabelle number 6078, so size 60. The plan for today, using a lovely size 60 thread that I received in today's advent calendar, as well as that from day one, also size 60, is to do the cross. And we're going to do that in the same position, so here. Okay, so we've got the center cross. travel across and it shouldn't matter where I start from the top or the bottom that side no so I can just travel across Tangly. Okay, so there we can see it's really more just a touch of the green poking through at this stage. We compare what Lena's with the 36 size thread looks like to this with the size 60 thread you can see it really is quite a difference yeah even though it's one size up but I guess because that's the tight weave and that's the loose weave it really does 
affect it. You get a very different look. You don't get the neat parallel lines, at least not going through every stitch the way this. Perhaps if I had spaced it out more, but then I don't, wouldn't want to go to double, I don't think. So yeah, but that's what this looks like. Day 11, done. Day 12. Silk, size 72, in pink. As this is another thick silk, let's repeat the day 11 cross, but leave a gap between the colours. Comparing the two days, it sits a lot more clearly when you leave a gap and only use two threads for each line of colour. Day 13 Ooh, is this some cotton? is Mercerized Cotton, Apple, 2005. As I once again have a green with the word Apple in its name, I'm going to compare cotton to size 60 silk. Um, so yeah, you can really see the difference between the thick silk and using half a cotton. And it's sort of cute. Day 14. Mint. And cotton. Today, with the mint mercerized cotton, I'm going to bring back the antique pink and do the floral sprig, marking the bottom. I'm not sure how wide this is going to be, so I'm going to start in the middle and work it out. Okay, then through. Okay, I have a little flower at the top. My little floral sprig. Day 
Day 15, Silk Size 6, Freshwater. The plan is to try another of these cross motifs in a very thin thread to see how it goes. While it doesn't completely fill the space, the size 6 thread looks really rather lovely in the cross shape. Day 16. Ooh. Buff. Aha! Finally some more wool. <laughs> That is very thin, isn't it? 2 slash 28S worsted 25 metre in buff. The plan is to use the two worsted wools, even though they are different weights. Hmm. Um, so the purple and this new buff for the floral design, which Mina did in silver and black. It's cool, but wool is definitely grippy. Okay, well that's a lovely X done in my buff. Under that, over that, under that for the lower one, because I want the other one, upper one, to be above it to vary it. So I think you do at least see a little bit more of it weaving it through the purple, but buff <laughs> is not a great colour to show up on this background. It kind of just fades in, so oh well, that's okay. It's had its day, <laughs> we'll see what else I get in wool. Seventeen. 2 slash 28 S in worsted, summer yellow. I decided to mix things up a bit and take some loose inspiration from stays and corsets and sew some crosses through the cane.
So it's a much thicker, thinner thread and bigger cross compared to the example, but I think it's quite nice. Day 18 Worsted Emerald 2833 The time has come to try a colour gradient with these two other wools. And complete. It's not as much of a gradient as I was hoping for, but it's the best I can do with the colours I've got so far. Day 19 Pure Silk Papaya Number 36 slash 146 I'll pair it with my other size 36 and repeat the day 16 pattern, this time over on the cane. I do like this size 36. Yep, next year I want size 36. Oh, that's really pretty. Worsted, mustard, 2806. Time for another attempt at a colour gradient. There, I am much happier with that gradient. Ooh. It's another silk, size 18 silk, in Dove. This is my other size 18. But I think maybe another X. So we have size 6, size 18, size 60, and size 72.
Mercerized Cotton, Cream, 2040. The five cottons I have so far all go together very well tonally, so I think I'll use them all. I do quite like working with this cotton, but it's not particularly different from the DMC thread, and I already have a lot of that in my stash. Twenty-two today it is. Ooh, it looks pretty. It's sort of a multicolored thing. Worsted wool, mint dip, two eight. Five, five. I think I'll do a double. Quite cute. Day 24. We have made it to the final day of the calendar. The final thread is a cotton and the colour is wine. So looking at the sampler, the final one I want to do will be in this middle of the cane here. I think I particularly like when you have the threads crossing over. Mark a V along which to follow. Okay, let's give this a go. And here is my finished sampler. A close look at today's finished floss. Got a Christmassy green and red combination. I'm quite happy with how going through the cane allows us to create a shape. In this case, a nice pointed bottom. This was a really good way to see the different types of yarn and the different sort of floss patterns. And a view at the back, so we can see there's been a couple of points where I've got accidentally forgotten to travel under, or decided to take longer ones at the sides or along, but on the whole, on the back is just a very tiny amount of thread, just enough to move from one spot to another. But it's lovely and colourful on the front. And so, for the final time, And we have the completed sampler. Similar to Lena's, most of the same ones, a couple of variations, and a few new ones of my own. It was definitely challenging, but I really like how it came out. It shows the, the learning, the trying, the seeing how the different sorts of thread go. 
and I think I'd be ready to give flossing a go on an actual corset. So let's look back at the whole project. Overall, I really enjoy opening up a new thread every day, seeing all the different types and the beautiful colours. Let's talk about the thread types. The cotton was very nice, but it's basically the same as other good quality cottons. It's important to divide it into strands before using it for embroidery or flossing. I enjoyed the wool, which was quite different from anything I've worked with before and had a lovely rustic charm. It did have a tendency to break, so it would need to be for the right project. And then there are the silks. The larger sizes, 72 and 60, I found a bit thick and tangly and hard to work with. So they're not something I'm likely to use very often. Size 36 was beautiful to work with. It was my absolute favorite. And indeed for this year, I've gone for an advent calendar that is all size 36 silk. The smaller sizes of silk were also lovely, but understandably didn't fill the space as well as the 36 did. And for particular projects, I'm sure they'll be just what I need. As for flossing designs, I find I'm particularly keen on the ones that cross over from side to side. Thank you very much once again to Lena for the blank sampler and for the wonderful instructions. In the new year, I look forward to putting my flossing into practice on my 1860s corset. The time has come to put these threads onto my larger rack and to make space for my 2021 Devia Yarns advent calendar. And I'm all ready for my 2021 calendar. This year I've gone for all size 36 silk. And my plan for this year is to do a sampler for the top of a smocked chemise, hence the curve in this gathered fabric. I don't plan to make a YouTube video of that process, but I will put some updates on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And after 12 days of 2021, this is what we have so far. And this is my progress on the smoking sampler.